Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Hey, hey, what up, people? Welcome, welcome. Take a seat. This is Vitro Friday. Because yes. it's Friday. <laughs> Do to find some popcorn. I don't know. Relax. Because this is a really cool podcast. You know, we've missed... <laughs> some quality music about to be thrown at your face. Yeah, that's the, at least that's the good news. That we know in this podcast, the quality of music is going to be pretty high. Because uh, it's Killing Voice. It's uh, Dingo. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Dingo Studios. And... Uh, I don't think they've ever posted one of these uh, kind of performances, you know, like the, the killing voice ones and the standard has been, has been low. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, find some popcorn, get cozy. It's already autumn <laughs> and uh, relax and enjoy this podcast. Halloween is coming. Oh, my God, I'm excited. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm Hello? all right, mate. Yeah, my Halloween's all right. Still. I like Halloween. Halloween is fun. I but like it's... Christmas. I love, but that's why I love I'm... Christmas. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> love is kid bubbles. Christmas. Christmas. Okay, so funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I love uh, Halloween because I know that the right after. First like November. The day after is literally Christmas. Yeah. Changed my mind. Yeah, yeah. And it will be Christmas up until the 6th of January. How do you say that? January. Yeah, January. Yeah. Some ja people say January. Jan January. Some people say January. Other people say January. And guess what? No one gives a fuck which one you choose. Fair enough. Anyways, are you team Christmas? Are you team Halloween? Are you team both? Or more one than the other? Yeah, that's... Would love to know. I, I definitely team Christmas. Um, you know where I'd love to see how they celebrate Christmas? In Korea. Ah, uh, it's a very romantic... Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. It's, like, it's like a... It's Lots like of a ramen. Couple. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of, Lots ramen, of ramen mogole. <laughs> Lots of ramen being served. <laughs> yeah. But it's I, cool, isn't it? In, you know, in America, they say coughing season a lot as well. So. Ca caffeine? No, coughing. Coughing. <laughs> coughing. <laughs> it's like caffeine season. I don't I know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube all nowadays. Year, all year round, it's caffeine Fucking season. Fucking season. Eh, Why oh, are you just... making my heart life hard? No, no. There's not nothing to edit there. Well, it is. There, There is. There will be right. a chicken. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, Anyways. let's... Uh, yeah, do remember, guys, that um, Feature Friday merchandise is out at FeatureFridayStore.com. Utilize code... COCOBOP for a... <laughs> how much? Oh how much? God. How much? How much? Go on, how much percent? 10%? 15% no, off. No, no, no. 10% off. We'll give you 10% off on all our merchandise. Uh, when you use code Co -co -co -bop. Co -co -bop. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing that came to my head uh, yeah uh, this is Coco Bob the guy like that's it Coco Bob fitcherfridaystore.com use code Coco Bob for 10% off on all your purchase that's right anyways uh, let's get started let's enjoy our song though by oh, the yeah, way sure. yes cuenta la historia de un niño como yo ese hizo hombre y a su patria libertó Ever. se llamaba Nosotros no somos nuevos. Fue normal. Desde que tenía tres. Entre tragos, cigarros, recordaba tu presencia. Ellos me decían que sola está. Caja. Era mi canción de cuna, sonaba en casa, me sonreía la luna De grande quería ser rapero, casa fortuna Pero de ninguna manera salí como Zuna Bombo Caja, era mi canción de cuna Soñaba en casa, me sonreía la luna De grande quería ser rapero, casa fortuna Pero de ninguna manera salí como Zuna Dulce diosa de la melancolía Espreta fuerte con tu labio poesía Farándula del eterno placer que me domina Decía, intraducible a causa de su prosa linda Caía, constante guiño de las experiencias de la vida Seguía y mira, te dedico esta poesía Cuando te escribo en mi libreta estas letras Rimo letra y sale tú mi musa tan coqueta No me creo en mil ideas en mi cabeza Pero en realidad soy solo un pobre poeta Desde pequeño recitando, canto, rapeando tanto, bailando al tanto, comprando santo, matando gato, comiendo coco, sete en saco al mando, pato, sin ser narco o bailar al tango, gafo, yo ponía a la gente a bailar como si estuvieran marchando, no importa si en cata salsa merengue guapo.
One. Oh, the first <laughs> wrong button. R the first one has been incredibly requested. And it's new, actually, right? from no, from a while ago. No, but I mean, new to us. Yeah, this this is actually po this posted June this year. Uh, they posted this this year, so it, it's been heavily requested. You guys have been wanting us to check it out. This is Big Mama and their Killing Voice. Big it's, Mama. Yeah, it, what a name. first time for us, I think. Yeah, first time. That's always lovely. I love that. There's a lot of artists from Korea, that South Korea, that we're yet to discover. I totally and, agree. And uh, I certainly think, uh, you know, and, and another idea for a podcast would be that. Um, but yeah, Big Mama. Excited. Go on. Big Mama. Apparently, this is like power vocals written all over it. So, have a look. A new sale. That's all I know. Interesting to hear their speaking voices. I All I can tell you is like there's a lot of grounding. There's a lot of resonance. Or resonance, yeah. Yeah. 네, 그러면 음악 들려드리겠습니다. Certainly mature voices. Indeed. Ooh. 2003. Oh, god damn. Ooh. Mature cho choice of musicality. That's how you do those layers in, the, in on a belt like that. Sometimes I have a problem when, when bands decide to do this. But put that again, that's fucking dude, elite, dude. that's amazing. I, I, I am... I have to tell you something. This is definitely something I didn't that, expect. That's like, next level shit, dude. That's ten times better than anything you ever told me, people. And, and let's be honest, you were very adamant about this one. You yeah, were like, I, well, we trust you guys. This is what we put on the podcast. Watch it. And I'm like, sure. But this is on another level. They're on a league of their own, vocally speaking. I, I think, arguably speaking, just quality of vocals live, I think they might be the best R&B group. I said, this is going to sound fucking crazy to say. Live, I think we've had in the last 20 years. I think it's kicking That's ass. fucking insane, dude. Absolutely freaking nuts. The you, you don't really see that, you know, in groups uh, uh, like uh, R&B groups for, you know, from the 2000s, <laughs> this quality. I think it comes from the, the, the high, un, a high level of understanding of musicality because everything they're doing here is incredibly complicated. Uh, nothing is easy. N n none of the choices, not even from the choice of production standpoint <clears throat> was easy, right? Like the song itself has already... Yeah, it's got a lot of like 
musical layers happening. So their vocals are just as exquisite. Yep. So they really match up the level, the level of production from a sound standpoint. Actually, it doesn't even match. It goes far beyond it. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's something the, I, wild. I, I'm sure a lot of people know, but if you didn't, this is like top notch. I want to talk to them. I want to know <laughs> what the hell Said is that like. I mean, definitely. Go on, let's keep going. I, I want to know, know more about them. I do know it's quite a lengthy performance, but hopefully the more we listen, the more perhaps we'll get to know hints I'm of I'm downloading them. that track, Breakaway. <laughs> Dissect. Yeah. Betrayal, oh lord. Uh. I would have thought that popular stuff would be very bad. Oh my god. And that's where I love an alto. Oh yeah! Oh, <gasps> is it because fire uh, bonfire night's coming? Oh, I thought yeah. it, was, it was not tonight. Though, was it? No. November, like November, 5th of November. 5th, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But it's it's interesting though. They that in here so far, uh, what I've heard so far, you you're hearing four alto, like three altos and one mezzo. Mm -hmm. So you don't have a soprano belter, which is very unusual for this style of singing, especially given. The reputation of being a belter, usually you want a soprano who belts, right? But this is the choice. Obviously, it fits the name as well. All uh, very, very full voices. Big Mama, I suppose. I understand where it all comes from. Yeah, mature, motherly, resonant voice. No, I think it's... Voice. It, it doesn't... I don't think it comes from that. I think it comes from the texture of vo vocalization. So it, it's more about like the darkness and soulfulness that the the vocals provide rather than the I don't know the matured sound. I think it comes more from from yeah from the soulfulness uh, and how grounded and how fat of a sound it, it is. So it's, that's what's so enticing about having altos be belters. It it becomes really thick as a very full sound. I think that's where it comes from rather than. The maturity aspect of it could be a play on words, could be both aspects. I don't know. I don't know. I think so is heavily related to maturity, vocally mm. speaking. Like, because uh, usually it's it's used in such like a, 
uh, you know, l- lyrically and also, um, you, it's utilized to describe stories which require some sense of a uh, like intros- introspection and 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 the uh, what would you call it like uh, resemblance of what could have been and what was. Okay. And then. That I mean, it just just look at the voices, like the most popular voices. Even nowadays in commercial R&B, mm-hmm. that still seems to be the case. Where it's like uh, there, there must be a sense of like, uh, yeah, of like, yeah, mat- matureness to their voices. I mean, I don't know. I could be wrong, but that's what I sense here, anyways. It's brilliant, though. Whatever it is, it's it's fantastic. <laughs> I know. Nice lyrics as well. Oh, girl. It was so breath dependent that that whole song was so breath dependent right so you need as much anchoring as you can get so mm-hmm. she was pinnacle it and obviously everybody's got their own techniques they've got their own thing rolling for themselves but yeah if you want to learn how to anchor this is it she certainly you know there's certainly Woo! lots of personalities at play as well mm-hmm. it's very interesting that um yeah that that because they obviously, I'd imagine some of that lot of the popular songs would be ballads. I mean, I'm sure we're gonna. This, this is, is like a hit of all the, yeah, the biggest this hits. Yeah, this is done. what usually happens in in the Killing Voice. They they take all the biggest tracks that they've ever done and they mash them up together. But it's incredible how you know how many of them. I think it's been already three that are R and B. Mm. You know, so well, it's, it's, it's fucking insane, and and it's it's like, yeah, it, it's true R and B at its core, like. <sighs> It's amazing. So good. It's so well done, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, truly I don't think I have ever heard something this at this quality from this genre in the last five years in uh, this environment. Well, as a group, no, at the fifteen, I'd say fifteen. I I wouldn't even say five. I'd say fifteen. Who else at that level of four know. vocalists I, like I that? I can't think, but I, I really can't. Um, my brain is a bit muddled up, so I. I don't know. Females, like I mean, mm. we've heard, I guess, males, like uh, male groups, though. Uh, yeah, like, you know, I guess, well, they're not really a group, but they, they like to do joints. They like Buddha Kel, they do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're around point, that same, point. you know, yes, they're around yes. that same quality. Uh, but like a group that was proper, like mm. set out to be a group, a female mm-hmm. group. Can't name you one. No, I, I can't know. name you one. Because the ones that were very popular, 
Unfortunately, they didn't seem to have this pedigree of singing. Like life in this environment. No, no, no. They, 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 I'm not, you know, I, I love TLC. I love, uh, 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 what, is, what are the other pussycat dolls and all these ladies, you know, like yeah. these groups that were very popular, but nowhere near close. No, and I this environment, so. it, no. it wouldn't have happened. As a whole group, yeah. No, and it's the same, so. like the Backstreet Boys, they, have, they were good singers, they weren't terrible singers, but in this, this is a different uh, pedigree of singing, mm. truly. And that's fine, like, it doesn't matter. It's true. It's you know, true. But it's, doesn't make any, you know, any less... It's not to knock on them, yeah, their success yeah, yeah. is their success. And Absolutely. A lot to learn from them too, but this is a completely different... <laughs> set of skills that these women have been able to go on they're the years. literally the one percent <laughs> yeah no joke god i wasn't emotionally geared up for this one you yeah. want it a bit of like i would love to see like a sohyan oh yeah work. definitely oh, so everyone sings this in the karaoke <laughs> okay here we go take it you're not shy, mate. Oh, stop it, I can't. Oh. <laughs> Girl, oh my god. <laughs> I love them. I love them. <laughs> I know it. Yeah, but this is perfect to sing when you're drunk. Um, I bet. <laughs> Come on. What the fuck? The lyrics is brutal as well. That's what I mean. You gotta sing this when you have been scorned. Girl, you I murder hope that. You meet a better girl than me. Yeah, have this. <laughs> Please do. Lubricant. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I thought they'd be good at fun. So, bless you. Bless you. Yes. <laughs> I would love to see them live, like on a tour, on a concert. Oh my god! I wonder if they really brought out like a metal section. Wouldn't surprise me if they did, and they had. Uh, the drama must have been a class act himself. I mean, it's just funk, R&B, wow. 
You know what I mean? It, oh, it's just good so, times. Oh. It's freaking power ballads and like have a good and, time. And this is the period of where I think some of the best drummers were at their peak. Mm. This is 2003 to 2006. So I wonder who their drummer was. It wouldn't surprise me if it's someone I would know. Um, yeah, go on. It's absolutely insane. Ah, it's this mental. Is so what music, good. mate? It is insane, man. Huh? And, <laughs> and I love the layer vocals. Their vocals, they sound like a freaking soul choir and it's only four of them well actually three when they're singing it's chorus on a right? record mate that's what they, it sounds like they really do eat cds and i haven't heard their cds yeah. <laughs> that's the mad part i do wonder it. given the timing right of, mm. they decided to do this all june mm. 2021 i think they must have dropped something so they like usually, an anniversary perhaps or perhaps they did drop something new usually at the end of the killing verse is like the newest tracks uh, like or the track that they're promoting at the moment something spast I don't know. I think we're fine. Okay. I hope so. Yeah, I think we're fine. You want to check? Uh, we're fine. We're fine. I can see from here. I'm fine. <laughs> That's so much fun. Yeah. her larynx over here. Check this out. See? See how far back? Woo! Dude, can I just say as well, like, Dingo's m fucking mixing and engineering. It's just sound elite. engineering. Oh my god, it's just the level of, of this, of the whole thing, the whole production, the whole composition, the songs, the, 
So good. Jesus Christ. So freaking good. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, it's tiring. Yeah. on fire dude. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're so hot, I know. <laughs> oh, you're so 2021. So this is 30th song. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One more day. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Techniques here. Look at that. It's so, it's just so nice and individualistically perfect to their own. I think it's wow. probably fair to emphasize that. Just look at that, people. Look at that beautiful posture from both of them. Wow, nice. Different types of anchoring. You might want to explain too. why it's different. Okay, so in 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 this particular oh, case, I pressed the wrong one. Uh, melon. 
stupid me. I'm so sorry. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk. Let's let's wait <laughs> until I fix my mistake. <laughs> well, Ephra's fixing my mistake. I it's just uh, my fingers are fat. Okay, they're tiny buttons. <laughs> my fingers are fat. They don't fit in tiny buttons. <laughs> he fixed it. I think I could slowly see where he was moving. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I That's appreciate stress. that. Uh, so yeah, don't just, do it again. I will try. The, the, what you're seeing here is two completely sets of anchoring, especially here is more of a of a textbook technique in this case over here because you're seeing proper back and neck anchoring. So you're leaning back, you're creating this type of feel. So it's creating a lot of uh, grounding in the chest. So it makes you really, really resonant. Also creating the back of the head to lift. So it creates, it lets your soft palate lift really easily. So this position up back here, it's anchoring all of these muscles and it's allowing the tummy muscles to be super and completely relaxed. So it really, you can really uh, um, be the freest, be as free as you could possibly be and allow the notes to be clean and clear on the belt. In this case over here, because it's, uh, sorry, in this case over here, what you're seeing is an anchoring that it's more uh, towards finding comfort, not so much about uh, the the physical anchoring to take away the pressure from the larynx. In here, you're actually putting a lot of pressure on the larynx without uh, um, uh, constricting uh, so that you can lift even higher. So she's on a really, really lifted, tilted position. So her larynx are actually non-existent at this point. They're so far up, so they're really lifted. So what she's doing here, she's trying to actually anchor a little bit to further that stretch of, of, the, of the larynx. And then you can physically see how her body tilts also to one side because she's really wanting to find that further re reach in that belt. Oh, um, compared to this one, which is a more full fold belt, requires more physical energy. So it's really beautiful to see how juxtaposed the two of techniques can be used. I was just going to say, it's probably fair to emphasize as well, like the, the reason why they, um, they, they, they're very physical singers, but given uh -huh. the difficulty of what they do. Yeah. Hence why it's actually so demanding, uh, uh, not only energy-wise, and also, I guess, mentally, it's very demanding pieces. Well, but physically, be, they, that's the reason why they're sweating buckets. And to be completely fair, though, like, it, there is not easy to sing 20 minutes straight, 21 minutes straight. Uh, in well, this, that intensity. Yeah, no. in this type of vocal setting, it, it's beautifully... Uh, you know, spread around, like the energy is, is nicely spread around and the line distribution is really nicely done. So nobody is actually killing themselves, but it requires a lot of physical energy, you know, given the demand and the, the level of the song. Not right? easy what they're doing Not by at all. any stretch of the imagination. No, <laughs> you're correct. <laughs> Good arrangement. I love the music. <laughs> Well, if you're here, go and listen to it again. Big Mama, Mama, keep on loving you. Big Mama's music. She's got the perfect, uh, like, uh, <laughs> 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 presenter's voice. 
망대인 제가 해주게 되겠습니다. 망대 되지 않아. 너무 감사합니다. 너무 감사합니다. 너무 감사드리고요. 네 앞으로 빅마마 열심히 활동하겠습니다. 감사합니다. 어. 감사합니다. 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 Thank you. Love you. Have. Oh my God. That was exhausting to perform. That I was imagine. exhausting to watch. That's, yeah, they, it's true. I was at the edge of my seat because it's such a demanding medley. Wow. It's like it's like um, yeah, I don't know. Watching like a really stressful scene of a movie, but oh, yeah. you're highly entertained and it's obviously you're immersed and yeah. it's, it's lovely. It, it it's just the level at which they operate. Oh, mate. Mm. I think the best example to, to describe it, I mean, I, I don't know if you know if that's the best example, but like <laughs> when I first watched like Rafael Nadal play live. Ah, okay. Um, ah, the intensity that that man operates in. It's like... <laughs> it's like, why? I think I'm sweating watching you. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And he sweats buckets as well. Like, well, but Absolute it, buckets. It's disgusting. I think it actually. comes, it comes with, with the, with the pedigree, like, right? Yeah, yeah. It comes with the... the, the Definition of being one of the greatest. That's I a think proper comes, singer, right? All it of them. is. It is, and I, and it's it's beautiful to see individual voices, individual sets of techniques. It's beautiful to see this take of soul and funk as a genre uh, revived, yeah, revitalized, yeah. right? It's revitalized. Like, revitalized. Thank you. I thought I was um, the right pronunciation. Huh? I, I think just... you got it right. I think I was just being stupid. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's that You're that whole. Stupid when <laughs> Thanks, You're just silly. <laughs> but yeah, the whole idea Swaps of one for the other. Anyway, sorry, apologies. The whole idea of you know uh, bringing life back into something that for perhaps have been forgotten as a as a way of singing, especially forgotten and in 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 all the rights of it because it's hard to perform. It's hard to maintain this level of singing for so many years in a, as a career. Um, what do you mean? So, as, what soul? Yeah, oh, right, right. yeah. At, at this intensity, to this level, yeah. I mean, there is plenty of musicians and singers that can uphold to this level, but can they endure it for a really long time? That's a great question, right? So, um, it, it is demanding. It's exhausting. It's it, physically and, and mentally one of the hardest things to perform, and I am blown away. Yeah, I think it's certainly one of the, you know, that, that performance is certainly a very good performance to go back and, and explore further. Um, I, that's kind of the reason why I thought doing it in the podcast would be the best because we can kind of take our time with stuff and, and we can truly experience it and then discuss it. Um, but they're very intriguing in, in how, how sort of they're not only obviously for individuals, and then a band, but they also have four different approaches mm -hmm. because they're so, you know, they're elitists. They, they are the best of the best when it comes yeah. to, or uh, yeah, at least they're one of the best when it comes to singing. Um, I, would, I, I want to know more about their discography, yeah, yeah. who they're signed with, and if you have any information about it. Well, I background, would that's why I'm highly interested yeah. in, because you don't get to this level by coincidence, not, not, at that, ex, not to that extent. No, and I, I would love to know whether in, it, it, it initial concept to us yeah. and and where is it going now because i this this type of music it is so that's fantastic good to have in your playlist i'm about to download their whole discography that's top notch Crazy well stuff. talking about other good singers uh <laughs> one of those that i think are just a band in general that mm. falls in that sort of category of uh they do have a very very good uh singing pedigree it, it perhaps the argument is that it's given through the label, it, working with SM, we're mm -hmm. talking about Super Junior here, um, it's, um, it seems to be a common theme, you know, everyone who seems to be signed by them uh, has a specific pedigree and, and the skill of singing. Mm -hmm. And someone who is, you know, at the top notch, I think, in a lot of people's list is uh, Kyuhyun. Kyuhyun. Kyuhyun, that's how you pronounce it, right? Kyuhyun. Kyuhyun, that's how I thought, yeah. I, I think so. Could be incorrect, could be wrong. Uh, of of course from one from Super Junior and he did uh, his very own uh, Killing, Killing Voice, Voice. Yeah. Uh, and we haven't watched it I think we watched him um, uh, what was the last thing I watched from him I don't know I can't remember now but yeah I, this, this happened a lot a yeah, while ago this, though, no it? this happened in July okay. again this year so uh, really quickly became one of the most popular videos in the platform um, so let's have Can a I look watch? Can you see you? Oh, 
Oh, straight in. No introduction. Wow. Nice vibe. Yeah, I think he had just released then his solo. Yeah, didn't he? his first mini album. Yeah. Then. No, not his first. Like he's, it's like he's. I think it's his third or second. Ah, right. Um, yeah. Let me just tell you really quickly. No problem. Yes. Because uh, we did hear his. Uh, um. It is his third, I would think. Third, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My bad. Let's watch it again. Here. Uh, no, it's not his third. No? No, no. I think it was his. I don't know. Because he's done three. Okay. But his third was in 2016. So this was because I think the release of Once or On a Starry Night. Ah, right. We did watch that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, came in, I think, during July. So I think it might have been to promote that. Like a that. single release I'm not promotion. too sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. I thought he was going to introduce himself, but he goes straight in. Yeah. People know who he is, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but you know how there's always like an introduction. Oh, hi. Thank you for having me or whatever. What an outfit. Can we get the O to do this? sounds like every K drama protagonist that everyone dies for. Literally. Or the narrator of the K drama actually. No, he sounds like the you know you know those 
back home we used to have like in the radio there was like this late night ballads with <laughs> with your swoon worthy voice <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, like, it's like he sounds like he that will woo you yeah 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 woo. Woo. He's, got, <laughs> he's got a woo wee voice <laughs> it's brilliant he does though he does woo you I it's think like, I'm becoming uh, like, all of a sudden I'm, I'm becoming more and more interested it's like wow what's happening yeah like more captivated just just because of the who oh, the holy hi, shit hi I'm Keegan one. welcome to my show yeah, my clothes still on <laughs> Where's your clothes at? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Sir, you are so cool. It's the freaking lyrics to me. Brilliant lyrics. Kill me now, you might as well. I felt it all now. <laughs> of water for a singer it's beyond belief oh i think i did it wrong what did you do i think wrong? all this time i did it f I, I think it's messed i mean i don't think it matters but it's okay. a bit you see there's a bit of a gap at the bottom ah it doesn't matter though does it i think it's fine yes. you don't care do you <laughs> I, I think it's all right uh, it's fine it's not smaller than usually though is it it looks a bit smaller <laughs> <laughs> ah, it was my mistake to begin with. I apologize. Ah, so I guess. Uh, uh, I just want to talk about how incredibly be beautifully executed all of these ballads are. We've seen two, but uh, all top, of it. It is just so top great. Notch. Musica. It, indeed, and not not only like how it's composed because it's brilliantly composed, but the way it's delivered oh. because the modulation, the breath control, the, the choice of emphasis in certain words, the the storytelling and the lyricism is just absolutely st astonishing. It's marvelous. It's just, it really is. It, it like depicts a picture. I feel like I'm walking under cherry blossoms in the middle of spring. You know what I'm like? We've really been really lucky that like, this last couple of podcasts, we've really been able to experience from all over the world, uh, music at a specific top-notch level. Yeah. I've been, you know, very lucky, I guess, because sometimes it doesn't happen like that, you know? Um, but especially <laughs> to that run. <laughs> extent of, of elite music and the bloody hell. It, it, sometimes it makes my brain, like, just... I think I can switch off <laughs> and I can just listen. You yeah. know, it's brilliant. Like, it, it, it I really... think the best word for it is I can marvel at this music. It's marvelous, truly. That's all I have to say about that. And I agree. <laughs> yes, I'll sing it. I feel like, fuck, you know, all karaoke's must have these songs, don't they? Oh, definitely. In Korea. Most do. I feel like before we go to Korea, I, I, I have to sort of. That's my do. I have to learn all these songs. No, you I have, have to go to a karaoke, get fucked up, <laughs> and attempt to sing them. Yes, I think yes. Yeah. And I'm on that road with you. <laughs> and it doesn't matter who I'm with. It could be very famous and they might be their song. <laughs> I still have to sing it to them. Webtoon is a OST. Webtoon. Ah, so that's what happened. Oh, that was like Will do. Like 
gain on that mic is unreal. Is that 360 mic? Next level, dude. Yeah. It's one of those microphones that catch everything. Everybody on the studio is like... Everybody on that studio is a ninja. They just like tiptoeing everywhere. <laughs> I love this. God. Love I wrote this for bloody hell. <laughs> Oh, come on, he's trying to seduce the world. I mean, kill me now. <laughs> Stop saying that, man. <laughs> sorry, it's funny though. Cause <laughs> can't use that word. Oh, sorry, sorry. Can't use the K word here. Ah, uh, my bad. Well, it's it's really far in. We're really far in. It's not nice, though. It's all right. I'm just saying. Unleave me. Unleave me. Say that instead. <laughs> How about I will end me? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> all right. No, not the keyword. I just uh, I don't use that around here. <laughs> <laughs> are you censored, bro? We kind of are. <laughs> are you what? Are you censored, bro? Censored, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh, fuck. No, no, not really. It's just a little bit. I'm no, not eating censored. my own hair. No, 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 Sorry. no, we're not. This is proceeds to add chicken. <laughs> chicken, chicken, the whole time. How good is he? In a bit, but I think it's very clear. You drink water, you soothe your throat. Ah, He's got such a wintry really voice here as well. up with that melody it's so bitty like you you really gotta move with it it's so and it doesn't feel rushed in a lot of these pieces because he's also doing introductions and things like that and <clears throat> he's very comfortable oh yeah it's truly very comfortable uh, yeah i mean and this guy knows like i don't know thousands thousands of songs not just his own solos but everything else from super happens, junior yeah. which is so such a long list <laughs> yes. you know like his brain i admire it it's very <laughs> intriguing i wonder what it's like to yeah to be him and have all that knowledge in your head That's and all that also live experience because mm. his live experience is I mean like 10 times of what a normal be human being is I agree fame, money ex like relationships in terms of like meeting people and business savvy musical genius <laughs> Indeed. Why must, what must it be like what must to it be, be like? smart <laughs> 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 and I totally question that of myself all the time. Please, please, careful with the button you're about to press. Fat finger. <laughs> One of those, the red button. <laughs> Podcast fin <laughs> ends. Do not, do not press the, button. It's this button, actually. Ah, uh, yeah. Do not press button. In the, the, yeah. Indeed. I couldn't agree more. So mysterious, is it? <laughs> Not 
Flores Cuche. So he was just released basically from this church. <laughs> Not released. Probably a few months after he had been released. <laughs> genre how much you can do with one genre mm -hmm. like espe especially because you hear you you can fall into this uh, this false uh, perspective of oh yeah you can you only sing ballads therefore everything will sound the same oh big key change or big break and then huge harmony section and whatever swell but, and yeah and then string section wow magically appears but but there, he is the pinnacle example of how much you can do with one genre and how much you can expand those uh, uh, limitations that uh, that the genre itself can oppose, right? Well, it's a genre, so you yeah. can abide, abide by its rules, right? That's right, but he is the pinnacle example of how much you can do with very little, with uh, really not breaking that many rules, actually adapting those rules into what you want to say and how you want to communicate with people and it's absolutely wonderful it obviously holds a very special place for him i mean they, um they all certainly are ballads i think 
some of them do have that highlight of uh, details, right? Especially here, the sort of the more percussiveness nature mm. of this track uh, of Time With You certainly gives it a more upbeat rather than the normal wintry blue ballad. Mm. Uh, um, but all the other ones, what seems to make him really enjoyable is that, yeah, it's not, I guess, it's not monotonous, but it's consistent, right, with, with his genre. Um, and I guess also when you have a career as lengthy as he has and people know you for specific things, you also kind of have to adhere to that as a certain extent. Um, but it also seems to be the genre in which he, he's pleased and He excels likes. at the most. I think also he enjoys to do the most, you know, to mm-hmm. a certain extent. Cause, and it's no wonder that he's th- that's the thing that he thinks is the best at perhaps as well. And he likes to do it. So um, it's kind of like... Yeah, it's a win-win scenario for him, but the fact that he's still able to experiment and, and introduce different sort of like sounds, and I'm sure he's worked with countless producers to also bring and different songwriters, yeah. yeah, ideas and stuff like that. I I don't know what stage he is at with his writing. You know, he I don't I've never heard him speak about uh, yeah that. I know he has written some tracks in here and there, um, but it certainly there seems to be an aligned concept and an aligned narrative that he seems to sing. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me he's also somewhat involved in that aspect mm. as well. But he seems to be very hands-on with his stuff. That's how comfortable he seems with his own production. Yeah. Um, but yeah. It's it's beautiful overall. <laughs> Emphasize things, right? 
Listen to this on this gold day long. <laughs> because what you're hearing here it's a constant shift from that really full fold super resonant super uh, you know uh, connected to the chest uh, voice to a completely soft and very breathy modulation and he does that really often he flips from full fold into breathiness really quickly really often throughout the singing phrase and it's you know it's rather it's rather intriguing to me how how you can maintain that for such a long oh, period of time without without no drops with yeah without any energy drops nor um you know technically speaking any any flaws it's so that's why i keep saying it doesn't feel real to me because the the way obviously the equalization helps a ton yeah yeah but uh it's the mixing going on as well brilliant and he's very comfortable with what he's hearing in his ears but um it it's really interesting though because that that there that requires a certain person to sing in that manner and it's not even about the technique it's not about the the you know the long lasting stamina that you might have no it comes from it comes from personal takes and then choices that you make um and he definitely doesn't make any easy choices and that's all i can say <laughs> i think also yeah like see uh, it would be so interesting to see the composition process of some of his songs mm. because they don't yeah they're not sometimes they're not very linear at all and and he very obviously doesn't predictable they play around with the with the unpredictability of the melody itself so they really heightened and highlight other aspects of the song it's really intricate let's let's watch the last one that he has this is together yes <laughs> Maybe it's also fucking hot in there as well, who knows? Well, it's summer. Summer gets really hot in Korea. Oh, Taeyong's Weekend. Uh, uh, Her song, Weekend. In, 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 the, in the latest EP. Yeah. I can do everything EP. in the weekend. Does. That would be a really <laughs> good collaboration. Good. Yeah. And it's certainly possible since they're in the same label. Certainly possible. I'm sure they've done something together. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, nice. That's what I mean about those choices. They're so good. That's so good, actually. Oh. I love that song. It's a very cool. I'm glad he ended like this because it's it uh, certainly leaves you in a high note, but it's very good as well to see some of his obviously latest projects, but that are a bit you know perhaps more put forward. I I think also the summer thing matters a lot. He seems to be someone very aligned with seasonal concepts. Uh, yeah. He is very wintry, given the ballads that he does create. Yeah. Um, and it seems in Korea as well that's you know uh, ballads and it's an important aspect and winter, you know, because they're largely what the seasons are the most. What would you call it? Memorable seasons, right? Either summer or winter, autumn perhaps not as memorable, and spring not as memorable. They um, become memorable because of the presence of winter. So spring oh, becomes memorable point. due to the presence of winter. It's a new beginning. Mm, and summer only, and autumn only becomes uh, remarkable or, or rememberable because of summer yeah I the agree. end of summer is here yeah, the end of winter is here the I, beginning of winter is here the end of the or the beginning of summer is here i think yeah. you're correct i i agree i think it's a it's a they they're they're charming moments in the year for for sure but i think yeah what makes them important like what makes them relevant is the either the the presence of or the lack of the presence of and yeah. i think it's really nice i don't like halloween i'm not a big fan of it it's the makeup and all that stuff i love it it's, it's so best. wrong because then best. after when you look yourself in the mirror oh my god who is that i love it i think it's so fun and, and then you have to take it off and then you make a mess in the shower and the sink oh <laughs> that's also accurate so much color you think like someone died here yeah, yeah. especially if you do the fake blood stuff oh yeah i get it Get get you a good fake blood, because otherwise you'll stain your face. Oh no, so makeup plenty, tastes horrible. Plenty of mistakes with that fake Halloween blood. makeup tastes horrible. Don't have you ever kiss someone that has like fake oh. blood. It's fucking horrendous. I've never. Uh, made. Uh, yes. No. Terrible. No. Or makeup itself. It's probably gone in your mouth before. Makeup. Yeah. I. I like if you sweat mind. a lot, he's the worst party we've ever been to. It was a Halloween party where you dress up and they also had bubbles and foam party. Oh no, so everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you went dressed there as like, I don't know, Cinderella, you'd look like Cruella de Vil at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, still on theme. <laughs> I guess, yeah, still on Disney. Oh, you look like Shrek. You know, you, as I said it, you know, so, and like one side of your face is like drooping. Melted. Yeah, and you're full of, I don't know, bubbles? And bubbles? And foam and fake water guns. Oh, how fun. That was fun, but it was a horrible mistake. I oh, think yeah. they made. No, I think it was a cleverly done mistake. Even when you, you know how you sometimes when you when you say hi to someone, you kiss him on the cheek and stuff. <laughs> then you had a part of them in you then <laughs> for forever on you. on you. Yeah, not in you. Okay, in you would mean something else. I don't want to. No, <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. never mind. Don't put makeup there. Makeup shouldn't be inside you ever. I don't know. I don't think that's healthy. I don't think so. Yeah, don't eat it. Don't put it in places it shouldn't be, where the sun doesn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, right. uh, who are you? Way. Yes. Nice. So I know. Did I feel like I need snacks and shit? Me too. I feel like I'm in a concert, like that, like a virtual concert. This is what it feels like. Um, Let us know. Are you? Have you watched a virtual concert uh, from South Korea yet? I think we're discussing watching the BTS one. I, I think I'm more convinced than watching the on uh, getting the merchandise. I'm more set on that because I, I don't know if I want to watch him online or if I, I want to have my first experience live life. The problem is I think we're going to have to wait a lot. So I think we'll probably get the tickets and we'll talk about it on Plus. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, this is IU and her Killing Voice performance. I know that 
this came out a couple of oh what did I do? Th this came out a couple of uh, of months ago. March. Uh, yeah, oh, this came four out days March. after your birthday. Yeah. Three days. Um, 29, 30, 31st. Yeah, three. Valeska's birthday is on 28th. That's right. <laughs> Where you turned 25. 26. Six. Hey, yeah. day six. Yeah, not You're too three bad, years though. older than me. Yeah. Okay, so this is her killing, vo uh, killing uh, voice, but nice. um, given her new release, I expect her to come out with one new really later. Well, Cherry, what was it? A Strawberry Moon. Yeah. I thought I was watching a K-drama. That was a single release, and I thought that was going to come with, with an, an album, album. No, but no. it didn't. Go so on, let's give it a, let's this have a, watch. a look at this. I've actually never seen her in this environment before. Oh. Neither yeah. in an acoustic environment. Oh, look how cute she is. 안녕하세요. 킬링 보이스에서 저를 많이 <웃음> 찾으신다고 들어서 I love her. 이렇게 조금 어색하지만 <웃음> 20대 시절의 대표곡들을 들려드리고 Oh, she made in her 20s as well. 주세요. This is some of her hits she made in her 20s. Yes, yes. How yes. old is she now? 그리고 제가 스무 살때 불렀던 하루 끝이라는 곡입니다. Tomorrow in the blow. <laughs> She's so small and fucking adorable looking. <laughs> That is so yeah, I agree. Why is everything she does like it's like uh, cute? Yeah, like a little doll. Yeah, I don't know. She's what is adorable. That? I don't know. She's really cute. But a I moment. Want... Go on, go on. A moment for vocal clarity. Oh my goodness, that was beautiful. It's certainly very clear, and, right? Yeah, but not only that, but there is also like this whole unpredictability aspect of the musical composition. What the hell was that chord progression? Like, what? What was that coming from? Totally mad. I think she's the CEO of her own label. She is. Oh. I think Kakao uh, Entertainment. She's the CEO. Oh, freaking hell! Yeah, I think that's why she's not with like. Uh, it's kind of same as P Nation, you know. That explains. And, you know, Jay, life. she's on that league. I think so. From what you guys told me, oh IU is the CEO of. Not, not Dennis Murphy. Who is Dennis Murphy? <laughs> Who is Dennis Murphy? Uh, I yeah, think CEO we were... of her label, of her husband, not a label. I don't, I don't think you can see your husband. <laughs> but thanks, Google. Uh, I'm not too sure. I think maybe I was tripping balls. Okay. I see the CEO of Cacao in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, CEO. Or I think oh, okay. I understand what people are saying. No, no, he's well, the founder. What? Formerly known. Maybe she she has like key people. Uh, oh, I can see the revenue three hundred twenty three million. Oh, and that was only reported in two thousand and fourteen. As you do. Holy shit, dude. Oh god. Um. Well. I well overall. A lot of people know the label as I use label, so maybe that's what they meant. Ah uh, right. But she's not the CEO. I don't think, anyways. Well, I'm sure you will let us know if she is, but I. Yeah, yeah wow. I don't think she is. But it's something like that, like, because I was reading the comments, and yeah, and it's like people basically know Cacao because uh, of IU. Yeah. Yeah. And I think she only signed with them, you know, not, not, not too long ago. Mm. Long ago, but not too long. Ooh. Do correct me if I'm wrong, please. She disappears into thin air. 
I want to see what the back. I was gonna say I would love to talk about. Is she receiving directions? I I want to see the backstage of Dingo. Me too. I think they. I think there is some because there. She's That's also nice. getting cues. Oh, thanks. Yeah. She's also getting cues for stop. She's getting cues for the camera changes. So there's obvious directions going on behind this thing. Yeah, certainly. It's stressful, man. Yeah. These guys just, make it look like it's easy, but it's just stress. No, that's why she said it's a little awkward at the beginning. Because it is. It's super suspenseful. Yeah, you never know what looks behind the stage. Like, you guys don't know that here is, I'm drying clothes here. <laughs> behind this. <laughs> <laughs> now you do. <laughs> drying a top. Yeah, nice. I love this song. 21. Are we gonna go 20, 21, 22, 23? Sure. Sure, girl. Sure. Cosmos flowers at the train station. Whatever that means. <laughs> wow, dude. You're the ar aromatic scent that blows by. Little hands as well. Oh, it's so tight. Dude, she's not allowed to make a single mistake. That's it. She'll get left behind by the bloody track. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Draw. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I hate this freaking dude, intros. The, the intros do her no favors. No. They're, they're like really one after the other. Ah, dude. Oh shit, but I have to present this song. Yeah, just like count to three. Count me in, sure, no problem. And then they hit you with a nothing. Swallow, go. Somerset. Um, uh, uh. <laughs> Frankly, what are you?
This is an attractive woman. Dude. I love her. Being a bit biased. Yeah, yeah that was hard, huh? Summer castle. Summer castle. So now 24. Wow, nice. Let's bounce it more rest. It's actually hard to progress from the song before yeah. into this really soft and steady ballad. Hard, I am totally to settle in love so with fast. It. Yeah. It's very weird, man. Like this show does really no favors for the singers. That's like, why it's a top-notch. I mean, it's a top-notch show, but it's really a difficult show to go to. Yeah, yeah. And do what these guys are doing. I, I truly hope, and I think, in all fairness, people seem to understand that. Like, if well, you do go there, uh, that's one of the attractive points of it. Yeah, but fuck, I'll be so nervous. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, I mean, not that I'm a singer, nowhere near that caliber of anyone that's ever done that. But even if I knew something, you know, if you were gonna go, oh, I'd be like, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I would be crapping my jokes. I think there's a lot of like pressure. I'll be comes begging this at the, the, the directors, mate, please just give her a cue in. And when she tells you. No, but I think the whole thing is like the, the medley's already done, like the soundtrack's already done. So there's no way of like not queuing in the next song, right? So you just run. So you just kind of have to like get used to the I don't think many people the understand breaks. the fucking stress. Oh, that is stress. I'd also sure. love to see like... Uh, <laughs> Everyone losing his head yeah. over Well, it. because, you know, you've gone to... Sh you, sometimes, even when we were, you know, performing and stuff, and we go to shows where it was fucking stressful, but we were, you know, we were kids, so I guess they were nicer to us. But now, sometimes we, I see you performing in certain, you know, precarious environments. Yeah, I lose my shit, you know, because it's like, fuck, dude, help the girl out, dude, you know what I mean? Help someone out! <laughs> yeah, but in here, there really no one <laughs> nothing. It's like, it's like, shoot yourself, might as well. <laughs> yeah, it's like, bro. And it's, 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 yeah, it's equal treatment for everyone and as well. I, yeah, dude. it's either take, it's either take, take a sip of water or introduce a song. You can't do both. Here's the other thing. How many takes do they do? I have no Please idea. Please tell me it's unlimited. Come to the studio and when you're happy with whatever take, you did, yeah. bam. It seems think, it, it has to be obviously one go, right? But I think it's it's similar to what you're saying. I think Please. I think it's several takes. I would end up choose, choking someone. Yeah, if you, it's choose, not. you choose the best take, I suppose. But I no longer know. No longer know. Come on, maybe they get five goes. Hey, you got limited time in the studio. That's it, go, goodbye. <laughs> and one of the best studios in South Korea. Go on. This is oddly dreamy. Oh, indeed. You songs, I think. Oh. I wonder what she's like. Like, if you take her out for dinner. <laughs> I love Dragon. Song. Bali, I, this, this is when is you became a fan. One of my favorite IG tracks forever. Oh, 
drag a mix of random up here. <laughs> oh shit. Plus, everyone ever. I always wake up and I. No, no, no. Listen, there's nothing harder than queuing in a freaking a cappella intro. What the. And how. What? So they could queue each song in. I'm telling you. Well, why couldn't they queue, like, wait a little longer for the girl to be swallowed? <laughs> main. It doesn't main matter. Main. I mean, she's a. That's how you know she's, she's a, a. pro. She's a pro pro. She's a pro's pro. And this is why you get people who are also, you know, insanely. At an elite level that look up to are you? Oh yeah, freaking uh, hell! This is mad though. Not just in South Korea, but worldwide. But it, it's truly unique, like what what she represents in the music industry. Also, how did she know what key she was supposed to sing in? Here's another there was, question. There's nothing in there. Nothing. She seems to have a deep fascination with age. Oh yeah. Which is very interesting because she, but well, she's obviously public about it because she speaks about it in her music. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I wonder. I wonder what that is. Like, I wonder why she she's able to draw so much inspiration from that and because i guess to a certain extent it does take some sort of self-awareness oh 100 right um because you might we've seen this do have done this before you know i guess taylor swift is very popular for doing i feel in 22 and all this shit <laughs> um, but it's like <clears throat> you must have a, a sense of self-awareness um i think it and, also comes with a with the uh, understanding of maturity that comes with age uh so it's a good way of reflecting of on previous experiences. Yeah, but it's a big fascination of it. it remark, it, it, it's it's more, it's, and it's highlighted on purpose. I wonder why. I wonder if she's ever spoken about it. It's a huge deal in Korea, age. Ah, that's also true, right? The, the cultural uh, emphasis on in, a, in age, the, the respect that we must, as, uh, you know, uh, give to elders, and like the, diff the age differences actually play a huge role in the social dynamics as well. So, so perhaps this is her telling her story on how she goes up in the age rank. Basically. I, I would think there must be a huge cultural aspect to it too. So, I'm really trying, so anyway. the fascination might be both self-aware and as well as influenced by the uh, cultural um, aspect, aspect, of, aspect it. of it all. And also, you know, you're, you're leaving your youth behind, right? That's right. But you're finding answers. And you're becoming more... Um, Mature, so you there's wisdom that comes with age, though, right? So I think it's a way of paying respects to it, like understanding that you know there's always forever growing, forever changing, and there's always something to learn from it. Very intrigued by that. Yeah. Very, very. Do let us know. And that's I, just an educated guess, I think. It I, I don't think it's but, a um, terrible guess. I'm sure someone. Please do do share your comments as always. Um, it's one of the most wonderful things about the podcast. Being able to uh, discuss with you guys and speak and uh, don't don't hesitate. I do know sometimes you guys say it's like fuck. I don't want to like make you know the, my comment too long. It's like we read Please everything. Do. We, we truly read attend. It. And now we have you know a little bit of a mini team, including mother and father. So uh, they they read as well. So yeah. don't hesitate because your comment will most likely be read. Yeah, yeah, very fun. Look at this entrance though. There's nothing. <laughs> That's mad. I would wake up still wanted to go to sleep. That's hard. She caught it back. Yeah, she's receiving directions as she sings. Yeah. Terribly difficult song. 
Dude, I'm so impressed by this woman. Me too. That's absolutely crazy. Ooh. Yay! Beep, beep. Blooming, I've heard this. <laughs> You're hearing vocals, vocals, dude. Like oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's a great example there. That kind of uneasiness that she felt there because you know she fucking put bottles in. <laughs> Crazy. But yeah, that that's yeah, she's that's trying a, to keep it all together, bro. It's a it's a great sign because you know, I I guess there's also questions, always questions. It's like fuck, like you know, is there post production going on? How do they sound this good? And mm. perhaps there are attempts uh to take credit away from the singer but it's like you this can't. is perhaps the best example i can show to someone on the difficulties the level that you're required in order to perform in mm -hmm. this and uh, yeah shit that might happen holy moly that has 31 million views yes sir this was super 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 popular wow it was this year yeah march yeah, 30 yeah, yeah, oh yeah true we said that before we, we go on sorry sorry for interrupting no, it's flow all right. it is it's it's a really interesting point of view though because uh, it's Refreshing and it's, it calms my brain to know that you can hear, you know, unsettling. Oh, it's so good. It, yeah. I'm buying tickets. Yeah, uh, yeah, this yeah. is such a good... Uh, I want to know the camera looking that way. Me too. I don't think you can see anything from... Have they ever done behind the scenes? I don't know. I don't know. Please, but anyone. It would be really interesting to see what happens on the I want to know side. if there's anyone in Dingo that speaks English. I'd love to have a chat with them. Yeah. <laughs> Cuteness, cute, cute. Yeah, right, set right, right. just... mm. Oh yes, this song. She's twenty. So she's thirty now. Oh, she's twenty nine, twenty nine. Favorite IU songs. Wonder why. I think I can see a screen in her eyes, in the reflection <laughs> of her eyes. I'm serious, yeah. This is a new song, okay? Coin. Coin. Great song, mate. I think we missed it. From Lilac, yeah. Yeah. 
to be gambler 배운 적 없지 Even no tutor 최악의 패를 가진 거 싹쓸어 한숨 배우고 싶음 더 이해 있겠 거라 Are you, are you, uh, this is a common theme that we've discussed. Some of the harder songs to perform are not the most vocal heavy ones, but the more poppy tracks. We've discussed this in another great show, The Wish Bus, that sometimes the harder songs to perform are not the ballads and the, the ones that allow, allow some sort of settlement. But this one, this one allows nothing. Mm -hmm. You're on the go, bro. And not, not only that you're on the go, but there's, there's like this constant... Um, settle, settling that you you need to provide in a pop track, especially when there's like so much speech quality, there's like a rapping quality to this. Yeah. It's just like uh, speaking through melody. It's really t difficult. It's a tough task to make it work in an environment like this because there are so many variables that actually interfere with the the steadiness and the the uh, post production sound that we get from a from a record. Um, so it's. It's really interesting that she makes this work like she she has this edge where even in this really exposing environment she makes this work one of the harder ones she's done though i say definitely they're probably the hardest song in the medley so far i totally agree and it's that. not the most vocally demanding bizarrely mm -hmm. <laughs> This section made me want a Lady Gaga cola. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, freaking wonderful! That song made me want a we in collaboration. Oh, me too, me too. That, I totally see it. Yeah, 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 go. Yeah. Sorry. 네. 네. 20대 대표곡들을 다 불러본 아이였습니다. 감사합니다. <laughs> <laughs> that was stress. <laughs> that was super stressful. Oh, done. Congrats. Man. That was brilliant. Man, 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 man. There's something left at the end. Uh, I don't I know what it is. Maybe she'll talk. Maybe they'll show the behind the scenes. <laughs> oh, there's Lincoln. Go behind. <laughs> she came back for that. Biggest hit, it's from an OSDA. I wonder which one, but one movie. She's
my nearly dying to the end of it like oh my god I'm so out. I'd imagine that's probably one of her biggest hits I would think because so, she's an yeah. OST and I know she's done a lot of OSTs yeah 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 well she's dead yeah she's done she's not only lots. been on a lot of drum she's fucking unreal she's woman. unreal she's a world class actress yeah world class singer yep it's like a professional in in the industry, a proper pro. Like yep. I don't think anyone has ever said anything. There's nothing to say about her apart from so. positive shit. I, and if they have to say, may probably don't even know her. That's absolutely you know? correct. I totally agree. Yeah, I mean, I don't know her, so I can't say. You know. <laughs> but, but yeah, overall, the the overall acceptance and like opinion is like, yeah, she's amazing. All right, so next we get uh, Jung Song Huang, which is a new. It's a new name to the channel, but Ephra's actually been obsessed with him for a really long time. I love this guy, dude. I discovered him through, uh, you know, that show of, um, you know, Begin like, Again Korea. That's it. Mm-hmm. That happened a lot during the quarantine and stuff. Like yeah. Um, and he, he's, he was always present a lot of the time. And I was yeah. like, oh, my God. And then he sang. I was like, holy shit. This, Who is this, this guy? guy's so good. And yeah. I started listening to some of his original work. But Bali, he's not very familiar with him. Uh, and this will be the first time I watch him sort of do a lot of his songs like that. I think I only know about five, six songs of him. Um, but they are some of his most popular, so I'll probably recognize some of these. So if you do see me humming, that's probably why. But mm-hmm. Bali has never heard them. No, no, um, that's right. And I think he's got a very intricate voice, so I'm certainly very interested in your opinion. And stuff oh, I'm like excited. That. So let's give it a watch. All right. Hello, friend. Adorbs. Hello, everyone. 안녕하세요. Uh, 새로운 EP 다섯 마디로 돌아온 가수 정성원입니다. 어, 킬링 보이스는 제가 항상 애청자로서만 봐왔었는데 아~ <웃음> 직접 이렇게 나와서 노래를 하니까 설레고 그렇습니다. 제 노래를 제가 이렇게 연달아서 길게 불러본 적이 저도 처음이어서 어, 괜찮고 되고 그러는데 잘 들려드려보도록. Be fine, bro. You're top level. Oh, he's awesome. This is gonna be crazy, isn't it? Oh, yes. Change, change. The lighting. Storyteller, like that's absolutely stunning. stunning. This was one of his biggest hits. To when I want to feel stuff like just feel my emotions. This is the opportunity, man. Yeah, when I. 
I when I, yeah, when I, so, when I sort of, I feel like it's time for Ephra to just have like a bit of an hour to just open up, deal with my feelings for a bit and then close off again and, you know, head out into the world. I listen to him. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just so when I'm at, like I'm alone or whatever, I might just want to chill, just center, you know. Maybe reminisce about some shit that happened or something. Yes. I'll listen to him. Any minor inconvenience ever. <laughs> <laughs> Sits on the floor looking at the ceiling, listening to Song Jung. Uh, so Jung Song Hwan. That's it. On the floor, just like chilling on there. Yeah, dude, he's really good. He's also, yes. I think, very popular in sort of like the OST scene. Well, I would, I would think so. He's got so. that voice. He's got the voice. He's got the voice. Yeah. He, I mean. Kyu Hyung and him need to make a, like a song, like a, a big ballad. Well, him and Henry, <sighs> him and Henry oh. have sort of done a bit, bit, bits and bobs. And him and and Lee Soo Hyung, who's I, I think a But great that's singer. how you were introduced to it. Yeah, they've right, done right, something right, together right. as well. That he's around the top notch stuff oh, from yeah, Korea. Definitely, what yeah. a performer though. He's really in the. Moment. I like those jeans, and I hate jeans. I I love the look. The yeah. look, it's a look. I'm okay, I'm okay with Even his posture and shit. You wanna hug him? <laughs> I'm sure many women do. That is so hard. He's a living Rubber. piano. He Another always, great example. He does that. Yeah, he's got a lot. He's got what I call vocal manners. Like he's very um, proper. Proper. Yeah, <laughs> I've noticed that in all his other stuff as well. He's truly very, yeah, respectful of the audience, which I thought was very in, in, interesting. And I, I don't know whether he comes from academia because this sort of habits of that. It's like don't clear your throat in the mic, uh -huh. or don't uh, you know, no deep breathing in the mic, or nothing like that. Don't show fatigue. <laughs> does it all sort of? They yeah, come they're they do. coached. Well, but they also might come from common sense and, and and no 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 especially because of how pol how proper and how polite they mm. teach you to be in Korea. That's not something that's something coached here, but it's not something that I don't think they would emphasize so much because they they already teach you manners from a really young age. Like you have to do certain things a certain way. Um, So I, I suppose maybe perhaps it comes, it's more comes cultural, from there. Perhaps. Yeah, I think again, I think another example of how culture is intertwined with even the Music. way of performing. Of course, yeah. um, so I, I think, yeah, I think that's where it comes from. Again, another educated guest, please let me know if maybe perhaps this has been coached. This type of behavior actually does come from What's his background? That's one of my questions academia. that I've always had. Yeah, what's his background? Definitely studied though. I have to say a lot of this, there are certain modulations or certain positionings that he's going towards that are very much thought through and you don't naturally stumble upon these things. Because it doesn't seem like Uh, the pedigree of like the idol pedigree of like you know the the k-pop idol uh -huh. like the group type of Tra training, training yeah. system yeah uh, it doesn't seem to be of that uh pedigree it seems to be of a different more sort of like uh you know academia more like guided music school type of yeah, thing. yeah 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 um i mean i guess they both can lead you to the same direction for sure um but He seems to be more aligned to that side of more orthodox approach to stuff. Yeah. I wouldn't know vocally speaking. I would dis can discuss this later, but it does seem to be more orthodox like to me. Mm. Well, we'll, we'll keep looking at But know. you do have people like uh, Kyu Hyun, mm -hmm. who he does seem to be orthodox like, but he, he went in a very modernized actually yeah. uh, uh, training. So yeah. I agree. It's, it, that's what I mean. It, It's just educated you guesses. Chen, right? Who's also seemed somewhat Dio, more. You Dio, you have. Baekhyun. I guess Dio is a good example of modernized. No, but there is a lot of techniques there from his way of singing, especially when he goes to more ballad heavy stuff. Yeah. You can really hear the the proper vocal training that's behind it. Same as Baekhyun, and and yeah, there's a lot of examples from different labels under the label system trained under the label system that uh, really focused towards you know vocal health and technicalities that really amplify the longevity of the of the singer um you know an interesting uh, but i i don't know it, it, these are these are just guesses 
like a, an interesting one would be someone like Sam Kim. Like you know that mm-hmm. that he's on a completely different pedigree. But, where he, I guess, it's more self. Uh, but in him, you can hear it. There's a lot of uh, I saw his ding uh, his uh, killing verse. Yeah, you showed me. Um, it was absolutely fantastic, by the way. A great, great performance overall. Um, I l- adore his stuff. Yeah, well, it's a good um, film. But uh, yeah, but in him you can definitely tell there is like uh, whatever coaching there is is for other reasons, not so much vocal focused. You don't want to lose that personality. Yeah, there, exactly. They kind of let him run with with his own take and his own technicalities, and I think that's also important. You can also hear it in, in somebody like Jungkook from BTS. Well, I think that, of, that was a conscious choice as we've seen but, him talk about it. But there you go. Then a lot of the times it might just take a huge leap of faith in in your own in your own person in your own way of singing to really uh, find who you are. Some of intrigues me a lot is as well like ACMO like their their process because their process was truly unique, right? I think yeah. it's the first duet truly yeah. acoustic du- that well, pop duet that YG ever has. <laughs> yes. Had. Um, like female, male, like that, siblings, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And their training must have been very peculiar because they were obviously unpolished at the start when they first began, and they are a very polished product now. Yeah, and I, w- I wonder what the approach was once they were signed into the label because they were also very young, perfect you trainee t- age, yeah. but they were never trainees, but they must have gone through a trainee process. Well, you can is, tell. Yeah, so there, there's a lot of thought that goes beyond it. And I think it's, uh, it's interesting because the only ballad... Uh, number that YG had at the moment was Lehigh. At that time, they yeah. had Lehigh. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was the only ballad focus. Balladish, right? Yeah, she- that they, they had under YG, which was also... She also had an edge. She also has an edge, you yeah. know, that we'll see you later. Uh, but oh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. So there, there's... Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's an interesting take as well. Like, how do you... Man, a cater towards something that is so specific yeah. that it's not something that your label specifies in. Uh, it's it's really cool. I I think yeah well, for sure. Interesting with Davici. Mm. Where you see the two the two girls yes, the two women. Yes, yes. They they they've had a comeback or they're having I a comeback it. soon. Yeah, no, I heard it. Yeah, it's already it out. Yes, yeah, very good. Mm. Yeah, go on. <laughs> See, there's interesting mouth modulation that makes me question where it comes from. You see that there's a lot of like using of the top lip modulation to darken. The sound of the vowel. You think that would be? I don't know where it comes from. I don't know. Be personalized or coached or. Don't know. I. But it certainly seems purposeful enough not to be just. uh... But there's for sure some jaw modulation that's happening that really elongates the bottom jaw. It 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 filters through, so it helps with that darkening of the, especially with the with the vowel. The darkening of the vowel creates a really like a fuller. Uh, resonance in the chest uh, I mean again this could be just mannerisms that yeah, he's yeah, picked yeah. up throughout the years and tricks that he's found to make his voice sound the way it sounds and props I mean absolutely fantastic but it also seems to be really well thought through maybe spoken about before Charlie, you right. know yeah Love, but I'm still lonely. Jesus. 
Oof, yeah, I guess they'll make you wonder live, right? Wow, how cool! Sir, that came out of nowhere! See, drinking away from the camera. All this, like, really interesting mannerisms. Hey, I haven't heard it actually. Trying to, I think he's just playing. I think he's playing. He knows. He knows and he knows. If he says it like that, half of the world will fall in love with him. Like, I mean, I mean, would things get awkward if I told you like this? Should I tell you another way? Actually, I have to tell you something, but I don't know how, so I'm gonna sing it. He is. Ah. He's 25. He's 25. So he's ah, just. He's just a year, a year younger, younger than, than you. me. Yeah, yeah. Well, in international you know, age. Kim is 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's your age. Yeah, I know. He's so cool. One that is most successful out of the both of us. <laughs> you know, he's kicking everyone's ass. <laughs> he's got the juice. <laughs> he's doing so well. So happy for yeah, you. Yeah, me too. I, I love him. So and, you're not jealous? Uh, I love him and his cats. And huh? his live streams in his, with his cats. His, his live streams are very enjoyable. His cats, I know nothing about. Yeah, his live streams. He's always good with his cats. Those are the things. I was walking around. Yeah. Oh, I thought he had like, I don't know, no more. So I was <laughs> No, I thought it was that, a dog. To be fair, I thought it was a dog because no, I, I never, I never saw him like stroke the cat or anything. Like that. No, he always like has a go at the cats when they're doing something wrong halfway through the thing. <laughs> it's like He's people. like, stop! <laughs> <laughs> but how but, nice is this? This is so. That's cute. why I love this guy. I love this so cute. He has a manner with his words, which is like, um, it's colloquial. It's true. It's real. It's, it's so young. Relatable. It's oh relatable, God. but it's also artistic and poetic. And mo and and mature. It doesn't feel like it's flitting. Like it, like mm. these emotions aren't just going to pass you. I love that sentence. My dizzy heart. Will you know? <laughs> That's lovely. Isn't no, it? actually, maybe. Let me tell you why I've been avoiding you yeah. these days. Because maybe I think. No, actually, perhaps I think I like you. Fuck you know. What is it, bro? i 
melodic trajectory is wonderful. Yeah. What the hell? Give this man a break. I don't know who he's with actually. What label? Like, you know, they go left, left, right, right. to not create yeah. resistance on it on itself uh, it is hard and what i mean by melodic trajectory i guess is exactly what it says on the tin it, it's the journey in which he takes he embodies uh, to execute the song mm. um and a lot of these and songs though, are not linear they're yeah. very not linear <laughs> yeah and even though this is like a very uh, a shorter performance compared to the other it's only on the shorter ones, side of the yeah. ones, yeah. um Still 13 minutes long, which is like, wow, uh, it's intense. Given given the complexity of each track, because each track holds an incredible amount of intensity, because uh, they all focus in a completely different realm of singing, uh, even though the style of his singing doesn't change, this style of the music does, especially on that Let's Go to the Ocean song. Oh my God, it felt very classical, written like it, like a composition with classical influences in in you know Beethoven like yeah so you get like, <laughs> like no yeah. for real is it, I don't know how to explain it uh, but you have this like really complex compositions and intricate voice um, journeys and choices that you have to make and uh, in a very sh short space of time yeah, sure. and. You have to detach yourself from the last piece into the new one in in a really quick and easy manner. Like, I don't know, as if it was like 
easy cheese out of a can. I what don't he, know. What he's doing, yeah, it's very hard. And he makes it look so easy as if it wasn't hard. And I guess that's what makes him outstanding because I guess he could settle with more sort of, you know, more, yeah, linear tracks, more sort of monotonous tracks. But, but these are his tracks. like. Yeah, so that's what I mean. I guess he could settle, but I think what makes him outstanding is that the fact that he does understand he's a ballad artist. He, like He's very good at that. And also acoustic settings but his most popular music seems to be ballad and he's, he understands that he seems to have to compose things that go outside of the ordinary because yeah. um, I don't even think he'll be satisfied then with himself and no I don't think so either I, I think he might be a perfectionist given the the way that he performs and the, and complexity. the choices that he's making one thing I can yeah. tell for sure though he's got a fucking good team with him oh a hundred percent I don't know who he's with what label but the people that he's surrounded by Jesus Christ absolutely I agree god damn I missed all this too Oh, I'm watching. I'm watching this right now. Oh, really? Yeah, this is with IU, by oh. the way. Yeah. Yeah, so he's he's, 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 one the, of the he's one of the OSTs. I didn't know it was his. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's very popular in OSTs. Yeah. Well, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And for a good reason, this song starts playing in the most critical moment. Really? And yeah. you're like, oh my god, my heart. <laughs> I've never heard it. I've never heard it. And and this drama is really interesting though because it's not so much about like. It's it's like a romantic relationship, but it's not really on the romantic like let's hold hands and fight the world right off in the sunset type of romance. It's more of like a how small details in your everyday life and like small phrases can like impact you and it's like building a wholesome relationship before it becomes romantic it's it's really intricate because the story friendship like, before love type of a no concept. because it's like a, it's like understanding before love because he is in his mid 40s and she's in her early 20s and they meet in the most of random like she's she's having the crappiest time in her life she owes money to this uh, shark loans and she's trying to pay back this debt and she's, she's doing all this shady stuff and he he's going through a really tough time in his life because he wants to be better in the company that he's at and um his wife is cheating with his boss and he doesn't know and he finds out through this girl hey man Woo! spoiler it's old though this this came out in like 2018 all right so if you don't know now you know now you know <laughs> <laughs> anyways it's... is it is it a series of walucha reviews <laughs> No, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you're. Because like... I think some of some of those dramas that you watch, because I yeah, I'm, that's not kind of my cup of tea. But I did. It would be think... cool to see your review of it. The thing is, like, I didn't think I was gonna like it because throw it's... up the rose. Throw up the rose. I absolutely. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't think I was gonna like it, because is because the reviews online said, oh, it's a ten out of ten, but y you have to stick with it. Like the resolution so is the really satisfying. Yeah, like people says, like this, the beginning might be slow and you might be really frustrated throughout it. Well, but stick to it. Yeah, is stick it to it. Is it an hour long episode? Yeah. yeah. And it's, it, I think it's 16 episodes as well. So mm. uh, I'm halfway through it right now. But it's, it's, yeah, it's really intricate because it's like the attention to details in the interaction. Yeah. And it's not really like, I don't know what the ending is going to be. Like, no, I'm really intrigued. Yeah, watch it. Let me, yeah, let us know if you guys would like a ballet review. That would be really good. Sure. Swap the roles, yeah. Swap places. I'll have to sit on the right then. <laughs> okay. Okay, go. On. Yeah, this song hits different, bro. <laughs> because the time signature is so weird. And the song is so weird. Korean ballads are wonderful. They, they do it so differently. Oh, 
Bravo, sir! Yes! What a wonderful take! <웃음> 네, 지금까지 정성원이었습니다. 감사합니다. No, thank you. <웃음> he is too, and he walked off with the swagger. He's in a state. I mean, he's a vibe. He's a vibe. I have no more to say. Just. Hey, Efra, that was awesomeness. I'm glad you enjoyed it dude, because he's one of my favorite singers that I've discovered by by accident. Actually, just he was just there on the show, and I guess the show did its job, right? Yeah, I, it, that's exactly what I think it's worth. It is it's, worth it. It's fantastic. I, I'm very excited. Yeah, I, I'm very excited to see what you guys think. So I, I know a lot of you guys may know who he is. Some of you may not, but uh, he's very fucking famous, though. Not he's to say known. it like he's that. Known. He, he's very known. He's known. Um, but yeah, it's always interesting because you know we get so many people watching from all over the world that yeah. it, that's still mad, mad to say. Um, so thanks so much for all the support and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, let us know if perhaps you, you've discovered some singers with us or or um, or who have you discovered throughout your Future Friday journey. That's right. Um, that would be know. really fun to know. Let us know. Now, as the last performance, uh, a fitting end, may I say. Fitting end indeed. None other than Lehigh. Yes. And I think what's curious about Lehigh is how how high she's held by other singers and other dancers and other uh, performers that we've had the chance to speak to as well. But <laughs> she's held incredibly... I mean, I've heard people say just like, you know... She is like... Amy Winehouse of the Korea. It's truly amazing. And to be completely honest, I have been obsessed. Yeah, Ballet's a big fan. I, I, I'm obviously, as you guys have known through all the reviews... I like the woman. She is <laughs> fucking a class act. Uh, but um, I do have my my curiosity, my curiosity sparks when I see someone like Lehigh uh, in an environment like this. Thanks, so yeah. certainly intrigued and very interested. I've never seen this and Bali hasn't either. Um, but we've seen her in similar-ish environments. Yep. Never in environments as raw as this. No, I, I, I At least me. Yeah, yeah um, no, so I totally agree with you. Interested, because the style she's got is a very difficult style. I do know she's got more, you know, sort of poppy songs that... Uh, like a lipstick, like a yeah, but then she also has like, you know, like Hollow and songs that are a bit more, perhaps vocal heavy and harder to perform live. So let's give this a watch. This is oh. Lehigh in Killing Voice. How exciting! Oh, what an ending, bro. Seems Look have, at her! Seems to have quite a lot of songs here. Yep, I yeah. love her. Hi, friend. Killing Voice, Lehigh, Lehigh. <laughs> oh, I love her. It's like a poncho over her thing. So see through top over a see through. Oh, I love her. moment for the blue mascara i don't i don't know if you can see it in this screen but let's have a moment for the blue mascara what's a mascara yeah, uh, a face uh, 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 fun, fun. is it like the foundation no uh. why would you have a blue foundation her skin would look blue uh, that's what i'm asking because i can't see anything that's fucking blue <laughs> the mascara in what's her... blue you said blue foundation what's blue no i said blue mascara blue her... mascara what's her... blue mascara in her lashes she's got blue how can you say how can you see it's that blue look at it yeah i can't see that what are you talking about <laughs> you tell me so you look at that and you tell me where's the blue <laughs> i don't think you can tell but it's it definitely here though it's in the eye. You know what I see? Nothing. That's what I see. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm really excited. I just I... see she has good skin. That's what I see. Oh, she's perfect, dude. Actually, everyone we've fucking seen today has perfect skin. I know, but her in specific, she's just perfect. I'm mm. like kind of obsessed. Can you see the blue mascara? No. <laughs> see how blue it is? That's the blue. That it's mannerism she's so, got is awesome, right? It's so 2000s, I love it. I love her, dude! Look at her with a guy with a size, low key, huh? She's gangster, man.
make around those vocal mannerisms she's got, I feel. Thirteen seems like a. Oh yes, 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 yes. Here we, go. we love this song. I've seen her perform this live in other environments. It was very good. Peculiar. Her, her body language is like so sweet but hard at the same time. would break the internet if, you know when like you know IU had obviously that song with Sugar or G-Dragon and then uh, Lee Ha has the one with Bobby and they just kind of make random appearances oh yeah that would break the what internet what the fuck he just sneaks in like, hey, what says up? his thing goes out hey what's happening yeah Bye. and Bobby would be so fucking funny <laughs> Bobby he's a funny ass guy yeah he's a daddy damn oh yeah he's also a dad yeah that's he's what you were saying like he's sort of no 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 no. that attractive he's evolved to a dilf <laughs> 
oh yeah, he's gone past the daddy stage. Yeah. He's a deal. That's what I think a lot of men wish. <laughs> you know, a lot of men wish would you do that. When? So, so, so I think the same as women. So when you become has, a mother, you, you're you also a, a hot mother or a hot father. Yeah, you, just because you, you, you know, just because you're a bearer of a child or you're, you know, the, the carer of a child. Yeah, or the father of a kid doesn't mean you all of a sudden have Your to become. Yeah, has to stop then. becoming attractive. Well. It's difficult though, because they're fucking little fuckers. They take away your life, don't they? <laughs> Vampires. That's if I knew. <laughs> but that's what I don't notice. So I, I treat with care at a distance. I thread carefully. Yeah. <laughs> so I want sweets. Yeah, have it, have it. Just leave me alone. No way. Don't, don't give me any more bags in my eyes. <laughs> I've got enough on my own. But Dad, I think I'm going to turn into a horrible man when I'm older. Yes. <laughs> and that's not a me. <laughs> Go to therapy. Yes, you will. <laughs> <laughs> but you won't take my shit away. <laughs> no, no, please, please. That's terrible parenting advice. I don't advocate any of that stuff. It's a joke. So stay in school. Don't do any illegal substances. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean. It's a good yeah. message, right? Great message. And that's what Future Friday believes in. Come on, baby. Oh, she's good. I love her. Oh. See, she's very peculiar in that sense. Yeah, like... I wish I had that level of coolness. Like, she's too cool. She's very cool, yeah. yeah. Like she's too cool, I can never be that cool. Go on, just perhaps a better example will come out as well. One, two, three, four. Take us core commercial soul. Yeah. Best example there. Oh, this would be I. Oh, do you know it? She did a song with B.I. Well, they were in the same label, so you well, know. Well, they're still in the same label. B.I. Yeah. No. No, he's not in the same label. Oh, yeah, no, shit. He's YG. Oh, shit. That's yeah, so true. Yeah, big YG. All of those collabs oh, yeah, there because fuck. they were in the same label. Although in She's her with MG new, now, right? Yeah, in her new in her new uh, album, she has, she has a track, track with, with uh, Bobby. B Bobby? Yeah, again, yeah. I think it was Bobby. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's but the I, point? I just your wanted to is. say that uh, what obviously makes her uh, peculiar because you know it's like soul voices exist, and I guess now in a more modernized, uh, maybe not soul, but modernized R and B mm -hmm. era that we live on, that it's become predominant across the world. You know, places yeah, it's like Bi, it's Bi, which Bi, right? Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, places like France, places here in the UK, the you know America, South Korea. Uh, they, you know, commercial R&B has become a thing and the sounds do tend to be similar. And what makes us stand out 
is that she is more so. She leans more towards that side, kind of the same side of the scale, to be completely fair. Um, but what makes her truly unique is her unique mannerisms, as redundant as that sounds. Because you haven't gotten those mannerisms in a long while. That's right. In the commercial world. Um, because you, I guess you kind of have to come from that... Uh, I don't know. You have to be exposed so much to soul since you're a young kid that for you to come with those natural mannerisms. I suppose. Um, I don't think they were coached. I think that's just how she came out. <laughs> I think know? so too. I think it, it comes a lot. It, it comes from that whole perspective of listening and replicating, and then Emulating, therefore, yeah. yeah, that 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 therefore you 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 build your own sound. I suppose. And unfortunately, there's some of those things that you're only gonna get a Lehi. She's one of those. Like anomalies. generational anomalies. Yeah, yeah, um, she really is. That's why she was. It was so interesting to hear so many people from the South Korean industry and just the music industry in general. Uh, Regardless, regard of that, her, so high that they yeah. put her in such a pedestal because you you don't get artists like her in so, uh, very often. They Rightfully just come so. Rightfully every now and then. so. Because I I I think. There's not only just the uh, peculiarities, vocally speaking, but the mannerisms and the the choices that she makes uh, from from a musical composition standpoint are very, very herself. And I think it's something, you know, that doesn't come often. There's only one, you know. She's obviously a personality as well, and I yeah. think the labels she's decided to work with uh, do embodies that. that yeah. yeah, hence why she's aligned with them so well. You know, YG being YG and the. Uh, AOMG being AOMG. Well, she never, it, she's never gone with like, she could have gone with a, I don't know, with somebody who's a, a label who's more, I don't know, ballad forward, somebody who's, yeah, yeah. you know, more accustomed I'm to. Sure, she had choices. Absolutely. <laughs> I think choices weren't the problem, but here, I love, I love her, her badass choice making, you know, it's because it, it, none of the two labels that she's been with uh, represent what she stands for but somehow they do at the same time because of the edge that she possesses she has that uh hood like coolness right like that really down grounded uh um, cool, yeah. yeah like like yeah, coolness and then and then you have the the super soulful voice that comes with it that raspiness and the peculiarity sounding wise and then you pair it all up you know, you you pack up the, the, the you wrap up the package with a pretty face and a cute little body that you know accommodates to everything, and it's it's a really cool juxtapose of uh, artist because it you've got so yeah, many she, distinctive layers in it. She's certainly contrasting so nice. within herself, um, and it's beautiful. I love that. It must have been a wonderful sort of self discovery journey. I'm sure she's still on it now, but mm. it's still it's it's good enough to where the so art that layers. she creates. Yeah. It not only possesses less, but it's also high quality. But yeah, she is very uh, peculiar in that sense, where mm. she is very sweet, but also very, uh, yeah, can be very crude and raw. But it's also, raw, yeah. But also, you know, can also very be... Very human. Yeah, and very cute and very uh, delicate, but it's a good mixture of both things. Mm -hmm. Love the cameraman focus, he is doing this. Do you see what I mean? Too cool. Yeah, it's not a duality to her. I might play this on a Don't 
you speak English, don't you? Yeah. She's got nice nails. Tiptoe. Tiptoe. I think they played that song. Is anyone there? You're in a club. Oh, no, did they? No, that's how I recognize you, I think, yeah. Oh. In Shoreditch. I love this song. <laughs> oh, this is like a slow down version. Oh, damn! It's also different. It's like back. Crush, right? Yes. With her album. comes out of nowhere with his hair and shit <laughs> with his hair and shit <laughs> you know this guy like weird hair comes out speaking just automatic automatic I fucking love this song dude I've never heard this live yeah go on Fuck is so good, dude. This good. This good. He's been killing it as well this year. Ugh. With the features like Dio, Lehigh. His own music. Show, dude. It's very R and B. It's very us. Literally. Yeah. It might be why she also played it. Decided to show it off in Dingo as well. How could you make that shit sound so cool? I don't know. She's really easy to film, let's be honest. <laughs> Those mad lips, they're mad lips, dude. Such duality to her. I got lipstick. I love that. The cameraman is having a blast. 
I love funk. I love to see this live though. with a drama. I like this dynamism take on the cameras. It's good. Every time it's one place, that's the best song in it. Another great song! <laughs> yeah, she likes to work with Crush, right? Crush loves to work with her. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, who wouldn't? Creative liberties as well. Where is she from? Like, where, 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 was she born in Korea? I think she's Korean American, or like, or like she grew up in America or something like that. Because the but, way she pronounces buttered, it, she must be from fucking New York or... Yeah, she, she, she does have like, she she spent some time in America, I know that for sure, I don't know. She's 25. <laughs> um, she is perfect. <laughs> well, what was her nationality? Well, she must, well, South Korean, they would say, right? Um, so she seems she was born in South Korea, but why the English? Maybe she just studied it then, I don't know. Could be, right? Because there's a lot of international schools in Korea as well that they teach you English, like American English as well. Uh, so I don't know, perhaps. Um, maybe, I don't know why I think she no she spent some time in, in, in America. She certainly speaks English in an Fluent, with, yeah, yeah. with an American accent. Uh, you, don't, you don't say button like that, just... Butter. Uh, no, button, button. Button. People say button, don't they? Yeah. Button. Button, yeah. Button. yeah. It's Lehigh American. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because everybody questions it, I suppose. No, she's South Korean, but I guess she learned English. Really well. I mean, like RM, I suppose. You could also yeah, argue. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. You know? She, um, yeah, I have no idea, dude. Nice, okay. That's, an, that's a question, an enigma. I love that. Uh, Mystery. You know, Breathe was written by Jong Hyun. Oh, nice. What the fuck? He I was, didn't know that. Yeah. What a talented man he was. Yeah, indeed. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a heartbreaking. Yeah, I voice. have no idea. If anyone knows, why? Yeah, okay. Oh, shit, look. <laughs> your phone is going nuts. Neither happens to you in public. It's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? I don't know why. Well, the, your flashlight is on. Yeah, it goes on. It's like you have an inner <laughs> an inner concert going on. <laughs> Happened to me the other day. Not that I care. I've never cared about it. But oh, some yeah. of my friends oh, it's so embarrassing. It's like, why? How is that embarrassing, you big fuck? <laughs> Because if you say that, then I'm going to get embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making me self-conscious. And we're in the subway. So, mate, why would you say that? <laughs> you know, because like, he might be like, you're filming someone. Well, now everyone's got you. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody's going to think that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that. Nice. 
Is this it? That's one more. Uh, Only. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. This is the one where they're like in a hospital, right? Y yeah. My only one. I love that word, iroke. So you see more of a duality. <laughs> but we did, mate. Was that the end? Yeah, yes, Nita. Kandane, Kandane, they got Kandane. Okay, goodbye, friend. I'm out, I suppose. <laughs> I know! She's a character, right? She's like, awesome. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. I think she's she certainly got a very cool sort of duality. And I, and I think maybe that that's expressed through her art. Like, it doesn't seem to care too much about the little, uh, you know, the, the the bubbly... The perfectionist look, the, yeah. Yeah, the bubbly, no, bollocky, it's bollocks. Like that, and also the lovey-dovey um, aspect of love. It seems she is more interested in the side of the shades of grey, the shades of mm. brown. The idea of, you know, shine me through, make me shine through your love. Uh, That's uh, right, right. Much right. more mature idea. So I, I, very intrigued. She's very intriguing as a person. Uh, I, I would imagine perhaps if she did find that sense of maturity as she was growing up, perhaps she didn't feel like she fitted in, you know, mm -hmm. amongst their peers. Most like, definitely. Age-wise, because she does seem to be, yeah, perhaps a bit, yeah, she she's very thought-provoking in the way she, she expresses her thoughts. Again, I don't know her, I'm just making fucking pure assumptions here. Pure assumptions made of, of, his, of her beautiful art. Yeah, and I mean, so... I don't know. I guess art is just there to be interpreted. It's just very interesting when it's linked to the person so closely. Yeah, and a lot. Of, uh, I think a lot of you, we have to take this with a grain of salt because a lot of the songs are not hers; they're written for yeah, her. Sometimes which is completely is a completely different task yeah, as a yeah. performer, right? So it's not it's what you want to communicate with your audience, but it also through somebody else's words. So you're like kind of translating the, the the core message, but at the end of, of the a, day, a it's not job truly, of delivery rather than. That's right. At the end of the day, it's not truly yours, but. Yeah. Uh, um, um, yeah, I would love to see where, you know, it's an exciting time. I think the the future is really bright for her. I think I'm, I'm super excited to see what what's coming, what's next. I, I'm super satisfied and super happy with this album as a listener, as a fan. I think this is one of the most complete albums awesome. for a female soloist at the moment. And I think, you know, this is just another example of how great you can be with utilizing what you you have yeah. without having to adhere to anybody's standards or uh, you know it's just really exploiting the 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 lights and highlights that you possess naturally um it's, yeah. it's really it's really fantastic it's a very good example of that i mean you know mm. perhaps at that point other things you know that a voice like hers wouldn't you know if she wouldn't have stuck with that uniqueness it wouldn't have flourished you know and uh Regardless, so I'm sure previously, perhaps she was told like you know a voice like that isn't really there's not a gap in the market at the moment. Everything mm. you know seemed to be more pop related. But it was in 2016 where she sort of uh, broke through. It seemed as I just read it here in Wikipedia. Um, 
but I'd love to. I'd love to know more about her earlier years. I'm Absolutely. Very interesting. I know she's only twenty five, so earlier years maybe when she was you know underage and stuff like that. But I'm interested to see those years. Uh, of so the beginning, you, yeah. So if absolutely. you do know any of that, do do share in the comments. I'm sure it will be interesting to a lot of people as well. Um, yeah, apart from that, fantastic. I know there's other like killing voices that we missed in Dingo. Um, I think like uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Well, I know there's a woods performance. Yes, we were requested, so we're gonna take the words. We have to take. We have to think about that one. And I think there's been like Icon has been there. I mean, we've seen Mamamoo. Um, but there are there yeah there's a lot of artists and soloists that have come here new names and completely different faces as well so it's it's really interesting to see um but we have one more oh we have one yeah more. we have icon now you said it ah cool yeah, yeah. and this is it's a very short one actually oh, uh, but i am interested to see them uh because this is like a different type of a killing voice um it's like outside it's outside yeah so I, let's give it a little watch so this is icon. Goodbye, goodbye, a lot of time, yeah. Wow, that's very raw, oh, Jesus. Okay. That has like oh my god, zero. I, feel, I feel so bad for the sound engineer person. Yeah, this has zero post, dude. Oh my god, this is dope. Uh, this is a little wow, wow, wow. 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 Yes, Ooh, there's so much tension. There's also Bobby wasn't helping his case, just leaning forward and rapping and well, fucking running out of breath. That's all right because rapping is okay. I guess. But try doing that. I guess, I guess, I guess. Leaning yes. forward, that's no, no way. Yeah. No, 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 it's a big Precari no. You, we talked about precarious scenarios before. This, this is fucking not... one of them. What the hell, Dingo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why in a rooftop? Yeah, rough. Dingo, <laughs> wow. And they, they did, you know, they did a good job of filtering out some oh, noise and stuff like that. But definitely. you're actually getting that audio. Um, the, yeah, I think you are. Whoa. You are correct. There is a bit of post there, I don't know. There has to be, though. <laughs> They have a really good gait. Also, can I just have a moment for the freaking backing track being super quiet? They're doing it on purpose. Yeah, I this know. This is madness. This is so mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they're doing all right, the lads. Good and, job. And the thing about Icon is I think a lot of people predominantly may perhaps classify them as a rap group, but they do have some like decent ballads. Well, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> It sounds like they're in here, it, it does, yeah. Yes, sir. Freaking That's what makes Icon so special. <laughs> Bobby's my favorite man. <laughs> Bobby is an absolute vibe for life. Bobby is my favorite. He's literally just chilling. chilling right. Here's the other thing. I think that's what makes Icon very special. Is that like what happens when you truly get, you know, core rappers. Like people who were rappers, like core true rappers, <laughs> yeah. and then um, yeah, you allow them to you, you assemble them, yeah. and you put them in a band, and you get some of the best raps that I think Korean pop has provided. Yeah, but you also have some really cool power vocals here, though. I think that's what Icon good singers, is really. Yeah, Icon, it's a really good balance, right? Yeah. So it's it's funny though because Icon is uh, Bobby's really living Vibing, the best life. Bro. <laughs> he's just, just 
just there. I'm here for the vibes. It's like precarious scenario, maybe a bit of wind outdoors. Not the typical thing. No Loud slouches. <laughs> sings alone to know his parts. Yes. <laughs> He's very good. He's so good. Oh, hell yeah, sir. He's also excellent. Check it out. This is an oddly old school vibe to it, the way it the video has been done. Mm-hmm. Well, he reminds me so much of Big Bang Era. Vibe. I love him, dude. Look at him vibing. He's like humming. Hear, you can hear him in the background. He's, He's just loving it. <laughs> He's literally, and I, I bet that he doesn't need to sing he that. He doesn't care. He's like, yeah. yes, this is I me. I do what I want. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> can you hear him in the background? <laughs> My feet. Right. Where did come from? Oh. All right. We create, like, share. Hey, you get it. There you go. <laughs> Look at look at look I love oh I love how this is just going into like that whole like super serious. This is the moment. And then you get And it's like ha oh, crackhead yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that. They're a good vibe those lads. Um That I'm, was impressive. Cool cool ending actually because yes. to sort of see different different uh, environments and, and Ruth. Yeah, it's, it's a bit ruthless, actually, to be completely fair. That's not a... That's not a joke. Up. That's not an environment where you fuck around. That's an environment that where... no joke. You either take it seriously and it, it hopefully goes well. Because <laughs> you know? if you hum along and you're off to you... you catch everything. <laughs> yeah, you caught everything that Bobby was thinking of. I know. <laughs> you know they were I mean? in his head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but anyways, well done to the lads. It was, it was definitely good. And I'm sure that's why it's become very popular. Like, it mm. you know, had millions of views and... A lot of people enjoyed it. It's very icon, you know. It, it, it's a and it's a different layer to icon. Yeah, it's but it, a, totally, completely honest. But the take of it, like the personality mm. aspects of it, you gotta let the lads sh shine. That's mm. why they have become so popular. I feel, uh, not that YG has never let them be who they are. Um, they, yeah, I think they do a good job. So, let us know, I, like icon. What are your favorite ballads from them? You know that's yeah. What should we check out ballad wise from Icon? I actually don't know any apart from what we just heard now. So I'm I'm really looking forward to that. Apart from that, I think yeah, I think what a podcast. Uh, truly enjoyable. I I felt like I just watched you know like several concerts. I it did feel like a whole freaking concert. Certainly, you know, a, a lot of credit goes to Dingo for doing this work, and Yay! they deserve a lot of more credit that they that they get. Lexi. Um, it's not easy to do what they're doing. It's no, really outstanding. Definitely wild. Um, and a lot of people have tried to do what they're doing. A lot of studios that have failed, and so that they they deserve a lot of credit. Um, apart from that, thank you all for your amazing suggestions and your incredible uh, information putting in the out there in the internet uh, for us to learn. And if you have more information on anything else that you'd like us to check out next, please keep leaving it down below in the Absolutely. comment section. Because we do read, we do keep in tune to what you guys are saying. And yeah, well, we'll see you on Sunday. We yes, got some Plus. few albums to review. Yeah, um, we got have some other really cool podcasts coming up as well. That's so right. Do so tune keep in tuned. Some cool guests. Yeah. And see you later, guys. Bye-bye.